everyone welcome back to pabli in this video we're going to learn how to build a whatsapp chatbot to handle customer support and reduce workload so i am an owner of a business and i receive a lot of queries from my customers like they want to know my refund details payment details and many more and replying to all of them manually is very time consuming and hectic so what i've done is with the help of pabli chat flow i have created a chatbot which is going to automatically reply to all these queries so if you want to learn how you can create this whatsapp chatbot for yourself for your business for that let me take you to my screen in this video we're going to learn how to build a whatsapp chatbot to handle customer support and reduce workload so i'm an owner of a business and i receive a lot of customers in queries on whatsapp to improve customers experience and reduce workload i have created an automated whatsapp chatbot using pabli chat flow This bot instantly handles basic customer inquiries such as order details, delivery information, payments, refunds and also provides easy access to support contact details. This helps me save time, reduce manual efforts and offer quick support to my customers. The bot starts with a greeting of the customer asking some questions like email and the name of the customer. Collecting these details helps me identify the customer. and then it offers personalized assistance once the details are gathered the bot presents them with three options once the customer selects an option the bot sends clear and consistent responses with helpful details additionally each section include customer support button which provides them the support details for the future assistance with this bot i can automate the repetitive customer queries reduce manual efforts and provide quick and reliable support to my customer 24/7 This ensures a better customer experience and allows me to focus on growing my business. So let me show you how you can create this bot for yourself for your business. I am going to create this bot with the help of Pabli Chat Flow. Pabli Chat Flow is a newly launched product by Pabli that helps us to create an efficient communication between us and our users via WhatsApp messages. And we are going to create this WhatsApp chat bot using the Flows feature of our Pabli Chat Flow. For creating the flow from the left side of the panel, go towards this flow section right over here. This flow builder page is going to appear in front of you. And to create a new flow, click on this Add Flow button right over here. As you go to do that, this new flow is going to be built right here. We are going to give the name to the flow first. So for the name of my flow over here, I'm going to give it as Customer Support Bot. Okay, so this is the name that I want to give to this bot right here. Now we have to start our flow. The flow is going to start with some trigger keywords. So let's suppose a customer sends me a message. Now message is hello, I need help for your query related to the order delivery. Okay, so this is a message that my customer is going to send. Now the keywords can be like hello, like customer can send me hello. Now to enter the keyword, I'm going to press enter. I am going to write another keyword over here as hey. Okay, so this is the another keyword, and next is hi. So these are the keywords that I can individually enter over here. Okay. Then next over here it is asking for the rejects. So what is rejects? Rejects are regular impressions. It is such a technique used to match specific pattern in text. So let's suppose by customers I receive a question. I want to know about your order and delivery information. Can you please tell me about your delivery and order information? What are the specifics of your delivery and order information? So you can get one question in multiple patterns. Okay. Now we have to sense those patterns. In order to do that, we enter sensitive rejects in this trigger. Okay. So I'm going to toggle this button on. It is not mandatory to enable the toggle while entering the rejects. Okay. Enable toggle for each sensitive rejects only. Okay. So now to enter a rejects, we have to follow a pattern. If you want to learn more about the rejects pattern, you can check out the document below. I am going to enter the pattern over here as. So this is my regex pattern okay you can see right over here first word is help support issue problem oh, i have entered multiple words like trouble assistance fix error bug over here it's wrong failed refund return cancel replace there are multiple regex that i have entered you can see right over here and if any of the word is going to match by my customer's message automatically this flow is going to be triggered okay it can be triggered by either keywords or the rejects as now i have entered the trigger now what i want is as i'm going to receive the message 
I want to ask a question to the customer. Now, in order to add a question from the panel on the left side, go to actions and in action, it says ask question. I'm going to drag that from here and drop it in this field. You can see this question is going to appear in front of you. It is asking for me to enter a message, the question that I want to ask. So for the question over here, I'm going to write it as so this is the question that I have that is hello it says thank you for reaching out to us I'll need few details to assist you better may I know your full name please okay now I'm asking for their full name now for the full name I have created a custom field in my Pabdi chart flow account so what are custom fields these are the contacts custom field with the help of which you can add their custom data over here to add your own custom field from the left side of the panel go to settings in settings it says contact custom field I'm going to open this in a new tab right over here and as I'm going to do that contacts custom fields page is going to appear in front of you and these are all the custom fields you can see right over here you can add more custom fields over here according to your requirement give the field name and the description okay so these are the custom fields that I've added and you can see over here in this flow that we are creating these are all the custom fields okay I am asking for the full name so it is automatically going to fill the data of the full name of this customer's contact right over here okay so it is asking for the full name the custom field is going to add the full name right over here format over here is going to be text because we receive the full name in text I am going to give only one attempt for the full name right over here and if you want to enter the validation message you can do that over here by entering the message okay now this is the second step I want to connect this trigger with this step for that over here this is a point I am going to drag it and connect it to this point right over here you can see an arrow this means now these two steps are connected now as I know the full name of my customer I want to ask them another question question so I'm going to add the field okay so now the question is after I know their full name I want to know their email address so I'm going to enter a question right over here so this is the question that I have that is thanks after thanks I have written over here dollar full name as now we are going to get the full name from this step we have created a custom field of full name right over here now this step is going to extract the data of the full name from this custom field and add it over here as we have created this variable if you want to create a variable you have to add a dollar sign and then the name of the custom field right exact name of the custom field this is the full name so I've entered full name you can see right over here it says thanks full name could you please share your email address now I want to know their email address I have created a field over here as email I'm going to select the custom field and the format is email so I'm going to select that attempts I want to give only a single attempt so I'm going to number it one if you want to enter the validation message you can do that now I'm going to connect this question step to this step right here after knowing the email address what I want is I want to send them their full name and the email address to confirm the details now for that I want to enter a message for that I'm going to drag this point and drop it over here in this field and select the content type over here as text button right here now I'm going to write a message right over here for the message I'm going to write it as so this is the message that I want you can see right over here let us read the message it says thank you here what's I have received full name and the email you can see right over added the variables of the full name and the email okay after that over here it says how can I assist you today please select an option below now for adding the options I'm going to add buttons in this flow okay I'm going to add buttons in this message so I'm going to click on this add button first button over here is going to be for order info if the customer has a query related to order info they can select this option right here I'm going to add another button so the other button over here is going to be payments and refunds this is the other option if they have a query related to payments and refunds they can select this option and the last button over here is going to be contact support with the help of this option they can get the details of our contact support team okay so these are the three options so now as they go to as any of the customer is going to select this order info option what message they are going to receive for that I'm going to drag this detail from here and drop it and select the content type as text and button right over here now I'm going to add a message which is going to be so this is the message that I've written that is order and delivery information here are some common questions you might have first question is where is my order you can track your order using the tracking ID sent to your email or number if you need help you can contact our support team how long does delivery take our standard delivery time is three to five business days you will receive a confirmation email with tracking details once your order is shipped need more help feel free to ask any specific delivery related questions for that you can contact our support team okay so this is the message 
message that I'm going to send as these are the general questions that have been asked by my customers. So I've added the details. You can add the message over here according to your requirement. Okay. Now over here, this is the message for order delivery information. Now over here, lastly in this message, I've told them that you can ask other questions related to delivery or order to our support team. So I'm going to add another button right over here. And over here in the text, I'm going to write it as contact support. Okay. So this is the message that I want. Okay. I'm can, I can also write over here as team contact support team. Okay. So this is the button that I've created. Now over here, I want to send the details of my support team right away. So I'm going to drag it and drop it. Select the content type as text. And for the message over here, I'm going to write it as so these are the details of my team. You can see right over here contact support. You can reach our support team through email. This is the email phone number is also right here. Support hours is from Monday to Friday 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. Close on weekends and public holidays. So this is the message that is going to be forwarded if the customer selects contact support team. Okay. After that over here it is asking for payments and refunds. So for that I'm going to add the details right over here. I'm going to add a message for payments and refunds over here. So this is the message that I have that is payment and refund information. Here are some common questions you might have. What payment method do you accept? We accept the following methods. Credit card, debit card, net banking, UPI wallet, cash on delivery, COD if applicable. How do I request a refund? To request a refund, please visit my orders section on our website. Select the order and click on request refund. Refunds are processed within 5-7 business days. Need more help and this is the same message for my contact support team. Now over here, I'm going to add the button similarly for my contact support team. So I'm going to write over here as. So you can see this is the button that I've entered. Now over here, I want to send the same message for sending the contact details so now what i can do is i can connect the same dot to this message over here okay so this message is going to be forwarded for this button as well as for this button now the last over here is contact support so over here i'm going to send the support details as well i'm going to select as text right over here and for the message over here i'm going to write it as so this is the message that i've written that is contact support here you can reach us this is the email phone number this is the working hours you can see right over here okay so this is the flow that I've created for the general inquiries that I get from my customers for the orders or the payment refunds or they want to know the contact details of my support team. Okay. So this is the flow that I've created. Okay. So now in order to save this flow, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the save button on the top right corner to save this flow. It says flow updated successfully. As now this flow is active and we have created it. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to test this flow and how I'm going to do that. For that, I'm going to send a WhatsApp message to this bot right over here. And after sending the WhatsApp message, I'm going to check whether I received the automated replies or not. Okay. So let's suppose I'm going to write a message over here as, hey, I want to know about I want to know about payment methods. Okay, this is the query that I have. I'm going to send this query right over here. As I've sent the message, you can see where it says, Hello, thank you for reaching out to us. I need to know few details to assist you better. May I know your full name, please? So over here, I'm going to write a full name. Okay, so the full name is going to be Nitin Sharma. Okay, so this is the full name. Let's suppose I'm going to send the name over here. As of send the name, it says, thanks, Nitin Sharma. Could you please share your email address? So for the email address over here, I'm going to write it as Nitin Sharma at the rate publitudes.com. Okay, so this is the email I've sent them. Okay, you can see it says, thank you. Here, what we have received. Name is Nitin Sharma. Email is Nitin Sharma at the rate publitudes.com. How can I assist you today? Please select an option below. This is the order information, payment refers and customer support. I want to know the payments and refunds over here. As I've selected it, you can see for the payments and refunds, I have received this informative message right over here. The first question is what payment method do you accept? All the details are given over here to me. And how do I request a refund? You can see the details are given over here as well. It says need more help. I can contact the support team. I'm going to click on it. As I'm going to click on this button, you can see the information of the support team has been provided to me with the support hours also you can see right here. Now with that, I also want to know about the order info. I'm going to select this option over here. 
here as i've done that you can see i've received the message for the order and delivery you can see right over here i've received this where is my order this is the answer to it how long does delivery take and this is the answer you can see right over here okay and it is also having the button of contact support team i'm going to click on it i receive the same message and if i'm going to select this last button that is contact support you can see over here i have received the message of my contact support team's details and the working hours okay so as i'm receiving all the messages this means this bot has now been successfully working as now this bot is working that means we have successfully created a flow with the help of pabli chart flow now as a business owner if you want to check out the conversation that is done between the bot and your customers for that from the left side of the panel go to inbox i'm going to open this inbox in a new tab right here as i'm going to open the inbox you can see all the conversations between you and your customers in this inbox section i'm going to open this contact right over here and you can see these were the same message exchange that was happening between me and my customers you can see right here now as we have asked them for their full name and the email as the custom fields you can see in the contact we have entered the email over here as nitin sharma at the rate pabletudes.com that we have received and the full name also was nitin sharma okay so you can see that the custom field data has automatically also been added by our bot so this was the conversation the send message and the receive message with the date and time you can see right over here okay so you can see this is the conversation this means our bot that we have created successfully working and that's it for this video with this automated whatsapp chatbot i can now handle common customer queries instantly which saves me time and reduces my manual efforts by providing quick and accurate responses the bot helps me to improve customer satisfaction while allowing me and my team to focus on more complex task plus customers can easily access the support details whenever they need assistance so this was it for this video of creating custom support bot for queries for your business so this was it for this video thank you so much for watching